mama, go mama. Oh, oh, God, it's so good that I get to have this moment with you. And you fly in a mother. Me and my mom talked about one time doing a dating show with her. She's so picky. <laughs> She's so picky, they don't stand. But yeah, that'll be the funniest show in the world. It will be. That shit will be. I don't even want to get started if she was doing that. We're not doing it. Mom, Duke, know how to have a good time. There's an incident in the house playing. The outside moving and shaking, baby. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. For real. It's my dog. You know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She don't stop. This is Steven from Industry Beef Channel. P. Diddy's mother, Janice Combs, has defended her son from accusations of sex trafficking and sexual assault in her first comments since his arrest. Janice Combs released a statement through her attorney Natalie G. Figures on Sunday, October 6, in which she said, It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court, to finally share his side, and to prove his innocence. 83-year-old Janice Combs also addressed her son's relationship with Cassie and the brutal assault that was caught on camera by Hotel CCTV. My son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gotten violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel's surveillance showed otherwise, she added. Sometimes the truth and a lie become so closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to admit one part of the story, especially when that truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it until the end, resulting in a ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Janice Combs also suggested that Diddy has been unfairly targeted. Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what this society considers to be a good person. History has showed us how individuals can be wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes. The mogul's mother added that she believed the lawsuits filed against him were motivated by money. These lies thrown at him are motivated by those seeking a financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit, so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. False allegations of sexual assault thwart true victims of sexual violence from getting the justice they deserve. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. She concluded, My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated. Diddy currently remains incarcerated at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn as he awaits trial. What do y'all think about what Diddy's mother just said concerning her son? Share your opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel.